Hello everybody, here we are today and we're going to be talking about the Seattle Kraken and whether or not I think they're going to make the playoffs. So before we start, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So the Seattle Kraken are a team that in year two saw a lot of success as a franchise were able to hit the 100 point mark on the season and were able to get their first postseason series victory in franchise history with a victory over the defending Stanley Cup champions Colorado Avalanche before losing in the second round. However, it really did hype up the expectations for this team with their fans and the organization with the expectations as well going into this season. Now, unfortunately at the time, you know, they're not in a great spot where they're guaranteed to make the playoffs. They have a 39% chance of making it at the moment. Um, but are right there at the spot where they're hanging around the wild card and while they have played more games than some other teams There is a feeling of optimism and I think a lot of that has to do with their play as of late So with that being said we can talk about that play and if that's going to be an indicator of whether or not they make it So they have a six game win streak and over their past ten games They've not lost in regulation. So the last time they lost in regulation was December 10th against the Minnesota Wild. They lost three to nothing since that time they are 8 0 and 2 and are in a situation where they have the third most points in the league over that span that going back to the 12th where they picked up a victory over the panthers and they are behind just the winnipeg jets and the carolina hurricanes However, they have the best points percentage during this run, and they have 18 out of a possible 20 points. So not too shabby there, and something that we're seeing this team do really well with. That being said, are there some things that are concerning for this team, and what exactly would those things be, and are there some things going right during this 10-game stretch? So there are some things that are a little bit concerning during this run. Their Corsi 4 percentage is 24th in the league, and their Shots 4 percentage is 29th, basically meaning that teams are generating more chances, whether that's just shots and just puck position, things like that, that is something that is happening. However, there are some good things in this situation that are leaning towards their weight, that being that while they do allow the league's highest low danger chances against per 60 during this run going back to the 12th, they have the lowest high danger chances against per 60 in that spell. So yeah, there is teams that are out shooting them but they're getting a lot of low danger chances that really just mean they're not going to lead to a lot of goals. That's exactly what you want to see if you are getting outshot. A lot of stuff, it's probably not in the slot, it's probably farther away, which is something we've seen that Seattle has been able to keep the opposition farther away from net, which leads to good results. In fact, they have the league's best save percentage over this time at 959. I thought it was fake. I kept refreshing the page, but it is true. Since December 12th, they have the league's best save percentage and something that looks like a video game almost. And their goalie, Joey Decord, is somebody that you would have to say factors in all this. He does have a negative goal saved above average total during this run, um, but I'm going to ignore that mainly due to the fact that it's probably tied to Seattle's great defensive play. And when you allow maybe like one goal extra than you were supposed to, that's probably going to factor into that. So Joey's got a goals against average of 1.3 run during this run, like a 960 save percentage almost, and is really helping this team out in a key moment. So over his first four seasons in the league, he played 19 games. This year, he's already played 24. And during this run, again, has played a role for Seattle to be able to make that playoff push. He's 27 years old. I don't know what his fit would be with the team for the long term. Um, but you're looking at this right now saying we could care less about what the long term looks like, mainly just because they want to make the playoffs right now. And he is a Coco Cup MVP, the first one ever. So we got to bask in that glory. And this is one of the things that are going really well for the Kraken during this time. On top of that, their 5-on-5 five -five numbers look really good defensively, and they have the 4th best PK percentage during this run. So, those are some things that are going good. Some of the concerns, obviously we're talking about the shots 4 percentage, but we've cleared that up with good defensive play and good goaltending. There are some things that are more concerning that really center around the offense. So, offensively, this is a team that going into the year, you're wondering what they're going to be able to do. And going in this spell, from December 12th onward, they rank... 16th in goals for per 60 which doesn't seem that bad it's about bang on average and you have superior defensive play that is helping them win games but my biggest concern is looking at this and seeing that they had a really big win over Chicago that really skewing the offensive numbers that was on the 14th um, that is something we have to look at and say what happens if you take that game out and go from the games onward so 
for starters, I talked about how they haven't really been scoring a lot of goals, but they've had good defensive play. They've had three wins where they've won two to one during this spell. That's great, but it is a little concerning to be in those close games. And if you look at the games after the Hawks game where they won seven to one, their goals for per 60 goes from 16th in the league to 27th. So am I nitpicking a little bit? Yes, but at the same time, with such a small sample of games, we do need to look at this and say that is definitely going to skew the numbers. So offensively, they are still struggling, despite the fact that they are able to help out their goalie and make his night a little bit easier in terms of those quality chances. But the good news is they're picking up wins. And during this run, Vince Dunn, a guy that they signed to a long-term deal, has led the team in points, 11 points over 10 games. So a defenseman averaging over a point per game, you love to see that. However, you're looking at this as a situation where Dunn realistically could lead the team in points by the end of the year, which isn't in and of itself a problem. We have seen teams before have defensemen that are going to lead the team in points, and there are some really, really good offensive defensemen in the league right now. So that is not a massive concern to me. However, I look at the Seattle side, and you see some names like Jared McCann and Matty Beniers, that you're maybe hoping a little bit more for that haven't been able to do as maybe as much as you'd like and you start to wonder a little bit if this team didn't make it would you say that it was okay that Dunn ended up leading the team offensively in points I would say probably not whereas let's say Kale McCarr went out and led the Avs in points you're probably going to be okay with it because the Avalanche are going to make the playoffs and have a good chance of making a run is he going to lead the points for the Avs probably not because there was McKinnon but the point remains McCarr could do that. You could have a guy like Carlson do that on the pins, and if they made the playoffs, it wouldn't be as big of a deal because you still see that offensive potential with guys like Crosby. But for Seattle, you're seeing some guys like McCann that scored 40 goals last year maybe not be able to do what he did last season in terms of simple stits. And Baneers is even talked about during interviews, hoping that he could do more to help out the team as the offense needs to get going right now. So with all that being said, do I think this is a playoff team? I want to say yes, but I'm leaning towards no, simply because Vegas, Vancouver, LA, in their division, they're gonna probably claim the top three spots. Then you have a situation where you have to make the wild card. Edmonton, when I did a video over them recently, had won 14 out of their 17 games, had been scoring a lot of goals, hadn't been allowing a lot of goals, um, had just, thrived on the power play, it thrived on the PK, it thrived at 5-on-5, five five. all around, just seemed to be having a good time, Connor McDavid just on absolute fire, five players averaging over a point per game, they look like they're probably going to claim a spot, then you would have some situations where you're looking at maybe a team like Nashville getting over them, I don't think it's entirely impossible, however, I look at this run that the Kraken have been on, and they are still outside of a playoff spot despite going 8-0-2 over this 10-game run. And they have more games played than some other teams, which is a big concern. You can play good defensive hockey and win these games, but can you expect realistically to keep winning 2-1 to -one games? Maybe you can, and maybe they'll be able to prove me wrong. However, unless they are able to start scoring goals, I think that while they may get good defensive play, they could falter down the stretch and miss out on the playoffs, which I don't want them to do because I really found it enjoyable when they were made in, in last year. Uh, but we're going to see because I do think some guys that maybe aren't key roles offensively or more uh, defensive value players are getting a lot of minutes, and that's okay. But we could be looking at Seattle going into the offseason and saying, what do they need to do to be able to improve? That very well could be them going out and trying to find some more offensively gifted players or players that could help out some of the other guys on this roster and make it a better team offensively. That way they could go out there and make the playoffs. But I will say, again, with LA and Vegas, especially where you start to believe more that they're going to be good teams in the future, Vegas we already knew it going to be a good team. LA, you'd have to imagine they're probably going to, again, keep making the playoffs. That really only leaves one other spot. Is Vancouver going to be good next season, assuming that they make the playoffs this year? And where does that leave them in terms of the wild card standing? So Seattle has a lot to figure out. However, I will say, if you're a fan of this team, do not be disheartened. And again, watch this team because they are near the playoffs. So if they make it, I'm going to be happy. If they don't, it may not be by that much. But anyway, what are your thoughts on the Seattle Kraken? Do you think they're going to make the playoffs? Or do you think that they're going to miss the playoffs? Let me know down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. And you go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.